So our prayer session this evening is based on Psalm 121, our call to prayer. We lift our eyes up to the mountains. From where does our help come from? Our help comes from the Lord who made the heaven and the earth. We look not to the mountains or valleys, even heaven or earth, for God is found among us. Wherever two or three are gathered in Christ's name, God is here also among us. Come, let us come together in spirit this evening as the people of God, with the God of community. Let us follow Jesus, for Jesus is the way. Let us join together in faith and in prayer. So we join together in prayer. And I'm using a prayer based on a prayer written by Nick Fawcett. So let us pray. Gracious God, for the knowledge day by day, you'll be with us come what may you'll be with us come what may for the fact that our whole lives through you've been faithful and ever true for the many ways you bless more than words can quite express living lord with hearts ablaze full of joy we bring our praise we hardly noticed it before passing it with a barely a glance but when it broke the storm broke and the rain started to lash down then we noticed it and huddled inside grateful for shelter and the protection that the shelter offered we are grateful for you lord much of the time paying you scant heed until trouble strikes only then remembering your love and running for shelter in your protecting arms, a refuge in times of need. Yet though we ignore you for so long, always you are ready to welcome, as faithful as we are fickle, for being there, Lord, come what may, receive our prayers, and in your name we pray. Amen. And we share together the Lord's Prayer, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And so we share Psalm 1, 2, 1. Assurance of God's protection. I lift my eyes up to the hills. From where will my help come from? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. He who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time on and forevermore. And so we'll share one of my favourite hymns. I lift my eyes to the quiet hills.
Keep clicking on the page. And so we come to our prayers for others. Let us pray. We come together this evening seeking to give you praise and asking for your help. We ask you as our keeper that you continue to keep us safe and we thank you that we have been spared the full effects of this virus. However, we ask for your help to show us ways in which we might help those who have suffered as a result of the virus. Help us to support those who may be struggling with long COVID, those who have been traumatized by the lengthy lockdowns and isolations, those whose livelihoods have been thrown into chaos and uncertainty, what appeared to be rewarding and profitable jobs and businesses shattered by a year of no income or trade. Help us to realise how fortunate we are to now have an incredible vaccine programme. And we give thanks and praise for all those involved in expediting this, the scientists, the doctors, the nurses, and all the volunteers who are helping the rollout. Help us to see the need to share the amazing vaccines with the whole world, especially with the poorer nations of the world who, without our help, won't be able to afford the vaccines or have the organisations to deliver the enormous, enormous logistical operation required to immunise the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And I thought it appropriate to uh, share the next hymn with you. There is a hope. And of course, with the vaccine, we have great hope. So there is a hope.
And so we just close with a blessing. Be thou a bright flame before us. Be thou a guiding light above us. Be thou a smooth path below us. And be thou a kindly shepherd behind us. Today, tonight, and forever. And so we go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen.